Show that there. Welcome everyone. In my previous video, I showed you guys how to set up uh, dual authentication or an account for um, dual MFA. Uh, I'll be talking in this session how to configure your Apache Guacamole to work with uh, the multi-factor the multi-factor authentication or duo. Um, they provide a free 30-day trial, so uh, after that, I have no idea how you'll um, use this system unless you pay for it, I guess. So that's an that's one way to do it. Let me log in real quick. If it will come up. It's not pinging my phone yet, so there you go. It just came in, so I'm gonna approve it. My phone. So I'm uh, once you're logged in uh, to do MFA authentication with Guacamole, you need to go under Applications on the left. So click on Applications. In there, you can specify a web SDK. So this is the application that we'll be using. If you don't see it here under, because I tested it, but if you don't see the application that you're looking for, you go at the top right is protect an application and you search for web SDK. So that's the one that works with Apache Guacamole. I click on protect, it will take you to the screen. Uh, you will need the client ID, the client secret, the API host name. So I have this documentation as well, and I'll be posting it in the description uh, below. So if you can follow along and just have a look at the instruction as well. So uh, I haven't set anything up yet on my Apache Guacamole server. So I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to log in with my account because you don't want to have Guac Admin as the a user on your MFA or your uh, duo. So I'm going to change that. So to make it happen, we are going to create a new user. So I'm going to just create a new user. So we can actually, so I can, so it doesn't look like, you know, uh, that, uh, so it doesn't look, as, what happens in uh, duo is that, you know, you'll see Guac admin and then every user you have takes up a license the trial gives you uh, basically i think it's uh, 10 users so free of cost let me just change the password too uh, what shall we use you can change the password later but the username gets tied into your uh, mfa account so that's why i'm doing this right now And we are going to say this user can administer, create all this, bunch of stuff. And we're going to say main admin and hashtag and that's it. Save. I'm going to make sure that it actually works. So I'm going to log out and say hashtag. There we go. So now it is working. I don't have any, as you can see, it didn't prompt me for any dual login. So we are good. I'm going to log out of here and we're now going to switch to our uh, dual setup. Uh, to be able to do this, you need to go to their website. And by their website, I mean Apache Guacamole website. And they will tell you what you need to do for your guacamole uh, duo setup. So I'll be showing you guys in this video how to do all this stuff. So you'll need the host name, integration key, secret key, the application key. Uh, let's create this real, uh, let's create this first. So duo key, I will need that. And we're gonna save it uh, here. So let's, I am, I don't have pwgen password generator as you can see. Says command not found. Found. I'm not going to bother installing it, so I'm just going to use this command instead. It should give me a random key, and I'm going to copy that. I'm not going to copy the space and the dash. So we have that key for us to use for our Apache Guacamole setup. And that's it, right? That's all I need. Okay. So the 
API hostname is the actual client or the API hostname from the Duo API uh, interface that you'll see. The integration key is actually the client ID that you see on your uh, portal. And for the secret key is, of course, the, the client secret. So you just copy that and then paste it in your properties um, file. Uh, one more thing you need to do is download the actual extension. I have the link here. And I'm going to copy that over to my server directly from their website. Now we're going to extract it. Oh. oh sorry wrong folder let's let me go to downloads and then do the w get again why can't it find it i'm did we not just download it yeah we did so oh because i got another folder in there that's why <laughs> okay uh let's do this tar xvzf block only and then i should find it should create a folder there we go we're going to go into that folder that was created so this is the folder that it created Guacamole. and in there you'll see a jar file so we're going to copy this file over to the extensions folder so we're going to copy guacamole a jar over to etc guacamole slash extensions and enter now just to make sure that it's actually there we're gonna go there and then see there we go so the file has been successfully copied over now we're gonna actually modify the uh, guacamole properties file so nano properties and in here uh, you can see as you can see from my previous video this is the sql setup i had done so I'd do a config don't worry i'll probably change these uh, after the fact that these sessions of these recordings or these posts these videos have been posted online so let's go to our page from apache so uh, we need the host name we need the integration key so let's give it the host name and we're going to grab the host name from here that is the api host name so copy that paste right click paste we're going to get the next parameter which is the duo integration key copy that colon we're going to put the client id we're going to copy that that is the integration key and the third one is the duo secret key so copy that uh, i think in the recent versions of duo they changed the terms recently so that's why it doesn't say duo secret key anymore it says client secret so copy that we're gonna paste that down there and of course the one last bit which you have to generate yourself is the duo application key so copy that and we had it saved down here in this file so you need to copy that over and that's it that's all you need to do to enable mfa or duo authentication on your guacamole server all you need to do is restart let's restart all the services there you go so once that is done let me show you how it behaves so i'm going to refresh the page and we're going to log in there is no prompt right now but when i log in it will go through that process of setup and there you go so if you have successfully set this up uh everything in here and your duo authentication and everything is working uh it will you will see the screen so initial setup um let me see if i can show you guys so users right now there are no users defined but uh, when we are done with this part with this setup you'll see a user pop up in there which will be the hashtag account that we just created 
So it's important that you create the proper admin account before you do the um, do this bit. So you don't have a weird account. I think you're limited by 10 users only. So you don't want to create multiple users, especially for the free trial. But if you have a paid account, uh, you can definitely do this over and over. So we're going to skip this. And I'm going to say, hey, you know what? I'm going to use my mobile phone. I'm going to put in my number. And it says, hey, what's your number? I'm going to plunk in my number real quick. It will ask you to verify your phone number. And let's see if it texts me. I'm going to pause this. I am not getting a text message from them, so but I do see that the account has popped up in here. Uh, so let me try going back out and using a secure, well, using a tablet, I suppose. So if you add a tablet, I'm going to say I have an Android. And it's going to so uh, the process basically instead of using mobile phone because I wasn't receiving the SMS um, because it's uh, IP or um, digital number, not per se actual number. Uh, so I'm going to use the security key option. Oh, sorry, I'm going to use the tablet option. So if you don't have a mobile phone, you don't have a number, you can always use the tablet mode. So click on continue and pick your operating system. I'm going to say Android. And yes, I have Duo installed on my phone. And you can scan the code. So I'm going to open my Duo app. And I'm going to add the account. And I'm going to use the QR code scanner. Apply it to the screen. And it says, uh, congratulations, it's been set up. So I can see on my phone that it has been set up. And it says, automatically send this to us. You can choose to use automatically push. I don't use that because sometimes it doesn't work properly, especially with Duo. So I always, I always use this. So if you have a cell phone uh, as well, you can definitely choose whichever method you want whichever works so i'm going to say continue to login it says your computer is out of date so i'm going to say close thank you for letting me know and then it's going to ask me to push or enter the bypass code so there i just got the push and hit the approve it says uh top right toolbar check this update oh Oh, looks like it's asking me to update my Chrome, which is actually the current version. So I'm not sure why it's asking me to do that. Maybe it's a bug. So we just figured that there might be a little bug with Duo itself. We're going to skip that <laughs> because I just showed you the version is the current version. So uh, successful success logging you in. So see what's happening here it says yeah last login it was today so 6:53. this could be probably because the time on my server is not set right so that's why it's complaining i just did refresh so hashtag let's see if this will work yeah it says computer's out of date uh i don't think it'll let me connect in but I'm going to approve it. There you go. That worked. So that's it. So as you saw, I was able to use Duo multi-factor authentication with my Apache Guacamole server. So next time, I'll try to log in again. I'm going to use, instead of using the push, I'm going to use the, enter the code. So I can show you guys both method, methods, basically. So enter a bypass code. And I'm going to open my Duo app. And I'm going to refresh the code I see here. And I'm going to put that in here. Two, and then I'm going to say login. 
Um, bypass code. That is not the correct code. So let me refresh the code again on my Duo app and then see if this will work. Okay, that does not seem to work. It's not working. I'm not sure. Let me try the admin account code. That will be the bypass code. This is disappointing, to be honest. I was hoping that this passcode would work, but it is not working. Nine eight seven six five. Yeah, I I am not sure why this is happening. Maybe because it's complaining that my browser is out of date or something. So could be a glitch. So I'm gonna just do the push. You heard the ding. I'm gonna approve it, and I'm in. So it does work. Uh, I will try to do a uh, setup with Duo if time permits, if I can figure it out to do uh, Samuel authentication. So basically it's um, shibboleth setup and then instead of using your own company's uh, uh, provider, identity provider, I will try to use theirs that they have. I think they have one as well and we can definitely leverage that. So stay tuned. And if you, I might try a different provider as well. I think Okta is another one. I'm not sure if it's free. So I'll try multiple systems, but that's how easy it is, to be honest, to enable multi-factor authentication, uh, especially using Duo. So Guacamole already has integration built in. So not many steps. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Please comment below and then please do subscribe. Much appreciated. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe.